When it comes to my hair, I'm always looking to address three main concerns, which is hydration, definition, and frizz. I have naturally curly hair. Obviously, I have white hair. And so finding products that solve this, but also extend my wash days, it's actually a little trickier than it sounds. But since I've been incorporating the Olaplex 3 to my hair care routine, it's been a game changer for my curls and for the frizz and all the areas that I need to address. I was introduced to the Olaplex brand and specifically the number three product by my hairstylist. And this was a few years ago because I wasn't, like I said, getting the definition and addressing frizz and maintaining hydration and that kind of thing for my curls. And so this actually really solved the problem. I use it once a month, sometimes twice a month. What I love about Olaplex 3 is that it's a treatment that I can do at home and it's formulated to strengthen my hair and I see such an improvement that it's a weekly treatment, but for me, I can do it about every three weeks and I see the lasting results and the benefits after one use. On my wash day, I start with number three. Um, and I dampen my hair and I'm pretty generous when I apply this and I really focus on the tips of my hair and I work it in and work it in and let it sit on my hair before I move to the next step of my hair, shampooing my hair and conditioning my hair. The thing that is really unique that I think is really important for naturally curly girls is the water level in the hair. So when I rinse out the Olaplex 3 and proceed with the rest of my hair steps, um, when I'm all done, I try not to remove any of the water from my hair. So it's like dripping, dripping wet when I add my styling products and this really helps to maintain definition and hydration um, for my curls. When I put those styling products in a styling gel and a styling cream and then I wet plop my hair which is I put on a shower cap with all of the styling products um, soaking wet in my hair and I just tie it up and I just put on a little shower cap and I leave that on for about 30 minutes before I proceed with the drying process. So when I'm ready to diffuse my hair I go through and I look at my curls and see how they've clumped together. Sometimes I find areas that are the curl might be like a little wonky and so I go through and I wind it around my finger and I just quickly form and kind of train the curl in the direction that I want it and for my curls it really just holds. Then I move on to the diffusing process and for me when I diffuse it is a lengthy process because I'm using a low fan on low heat and I like to diffuse in a downward motion because I am prone to frizz. So I diffuse in a downward motion so that my curls stay in that direction, if that's making sense. The one thing that I started doing a couple years ago is I sleep with a silk scarf. Um, I tie my hair, I put my hair up, and I kind of like bend forward and tie a scarf around the front of my hair and then I tuck the tail in. And when I wake up in the morning now, this has been a game changer as well for the frizz. Like I get so many more days out of a wash day. Um, so if I'm washing my hair once a week, I feel like it's not until that very last day that my curls lose the definition and they just look kind of wonky and frizzy and not as defined. And I know it's to do with the products that I'm using, like my Olaplex 3, and that I am not messing up my curls at night with the silk scarf. It's like so genius and I was resistant to doing it for so long and I'm so glad that I finally adopted um, protecting my hair with the scarf at night. 